Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ about pyrrole. And you can see the question is in front of you. I request you student please read the question carefully, pause the video and try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. And don't worry after some time you will get the right answer with proper explanation. But remember one statement that self-evaluation is essential for improvement. So that's why you should try by yourself. I believe you have tried by yourself, so it's my turn to give you the right answer. Now, if you look at the reaction condition and this reagent pyrrole, this is nothing but first step is aromatic electrophilic substitution or AES. So in this case, this pyrrole is actually a aromatic heterocyclic compound, five member aromatic heterocyclic compound and this is actually student, it is pi excess nucleus. Why? Because the four, six aromatic electrons which is responsible for this aromaticity are distributed over five atoms. Four carbon and one is nitrogen and in this case the six electrons are two from here, two from here and two from this lone pair of electron from nitrogen. So from this thing you can understand this is actually pi excess nucleus or activated for aromatic electrophilic substitution. Now another part is electrophile and in this case this is trichloro acetyl chloride okay so this is the electrophile here and surprisingly no lewis acid is there why because for aromatic uh, electrophilic substitution or more specifically if you say acylation reaction which is happening here what is needed needed a lewis acid for breaking of these and acyl cation preparation etc but in this case no lewis acid is there because student these carbon Actually, this acid chloride carbon is significantly active. Why? Because of attachment of this extremely electron withdrawing CCL3 group. It, this group makes it extremely active. Point number one. Second, this is a pi excess nucleus, this furan, sorry, this pyrrole. So, these two part makes the reaction possible in absence of Lewis acid also. So, let's learn the first step. What happens? This aromatic electrophilic substitution happens. In this case, what you can see that this electron comes here, it goes here and this attacks this, actually it you can write it in this way. So this is CO and this is CL. Now in the next step, what will happen? First step it will open, come back and this CL will leave. So it will produce. So this is a sigma complex. And here it is called C2 substitution. Why? Because this, so this is one and this is two this is 3. So, this is C2. You can ask that sir, why this position means C3 is not substituted? Because these sigma complex have an additional resonance stabilization. What do I mean? Means like that this is NH, this is H and this is CO, CCL3. This part. Now, this is one here. So, this is the additional canonical form. Obviously, there is another canonical form by the involvement of this lone pair and positive charge goes on nitrogen. But this, this C2 attack is associated with three canonical form whereas this C3 attack means here is associated with only two canonical form. So, from this thing you can understand the C2 attack is always associated with lesser energy of activation. So, that's why aromatic electrophilic substitution on five member ring happens preferentially on C2. And if C2 is blocked or absent, then C3 happens. Now, so in the next step, what will happen? This proton will be abstracted and, and who can abstract? In the reaction medium, obviously chloride ion is there. It can abstract. So it will be abstracted and it will come here and this part will be produced. So this is actually, you can consider C2 substitution. Okay, and in this case, the driving force of this reaction is student aromaticity because in this canonical form, the pyrrole got its aromaticity back again. So, this way reaction will happen. Now, in the next step, that is sodium ethoxide in ethanol. We know sodium ethoxide can act both. It is It can act as nucleophile, it can act as base. So, in this reaction, what it can do? This ethoxide can act as nucleophile here. Here it will attack it will open up, it will come back and ultimately this CCL3 minus will leave. So, he, this is actually CCL3 minus. So, in this case along with the other side what this, 
this is actually acyl nucleophilic substitution type reaction so in this case it will produce this one now the question is why this reaction happen why this nucleophilic attack happens so smoothly remember student this ccl3 minus withdrawing effect is significantly higher that's why this carbon ion is relatively stabilized so that's why it act as a living group because we know that carbon ion are not good living groups so they don't like to leave preferentially so in this way it will react this compound so this is the answer so so what is the answer of this problem answer is c2 substitution oet so option b is the right answer okay now if this question is provided in your exam less than 30 second how can you solve this question first of all you need to understand this is this is actually a very electron deficient acid chloride so no lewis acid although there point number one and this is a extremely electron rich aromatic heterocyclic nucleus okay so they will react and reaction for aromatic electrolytic substitution on pyrrole happens preferentially on c2 position student it you should remember so reaction will happen in the c2 position fine if you understand this thing first step is fine second step just see a new base or nucleophile is there so what can happen one chance is there this nh proton could be abstracted nothing and if another chance that this trichloro ccl3 can undergo nucleophilic means acyl nucleophilic substitution and ultimately what it will produce since it is sodium ethoxide then it will produce this ethyl ester now option c why not possible because a carbon dioxide it means car number of carbon less not possible here also not possible and why not this because it will react to it ethoxide and by the way you have i guess have read one name reaction that is halo form reaction okay in the halo form reaction i have already make a dedicated lecture you may visit for better understanding so in the halo form reaction first any keto methyl group got converted into for example chloroform this ccl3 in the subsequent step these alkali attacks and ultimately produces one type one side chloroform or chcl3 along with that carboxylic and a more specifically carboxylate anion so this is a variation of you can consider the second step is haloform reaction that's why you should learn the name reaction properly okay so so in conclusion what you have learned today that pyrrole is a pi excess five member heterocyclic compound and it is electron rich heterocyclic compound now pyrrole is highly activated for aromatic electrophilic substitution and in this case the as preferentially occurs on c2 position because the intermediate sigma complex has some more resonance stabilization because of delocalization next the sigma complex gets stability more c2 i told and the ccl3 strongly electron withdrawing group in nature because of its minus i effect of three halogen attached to the carbon and this enhanced electron withdrawing nature by ccl3 group results in electrophilic activation on the carbonyl carbon and subsequently it undergo nucleophilic attack and produces the in this case this is carboxylic acid derivative like ester and chloroform so so this is the end of the discussion i believe this video will be useful please write your opinion in the comment box and if you consider my contents are worthy then please help this channel to grow and you may visit my another channel where i upload global warming and climate change related videos so thank you again